that our PE games need to be cooperative and collaborative. Here's some things to think about when you're creating PE games for your class. First of all, are your objectives clear? And do they build on the background knowledge of your students? Second, make sure your expectations are very clear and create routines so students know what to expect. Also, we need to make sure all students feel safe and that they all feel comfortable participating because if they don't, you're going to have half a class of dodgeball and half a class of people sitting out. Remember, all students should be engaged and participating in the activities at all times. How do we make that work? We involve all students in the way that they learn and they like to participate. Every student has a role. Students will work together towards a common goal. That leads back up to our objective. Have a purpose for the game. Remember, most importantly, Winning or losing does not matter. We're here to have fun at all times. Let me take you over to a good example. It's called the Hula Hoop Snatch Run. Follow me. <laughs> Gather in for the direction. As Miss Kelsey describes the directions to Hula Hoop Snatch to her students, I would like to describe the directions to you so you can do it in your classroom. The amount of materials needed will depend on how many students are in your class. You'll need hula hoops and any small object such as bean bags, tennis balls, or hacky sacks. First, you will split your students into groups. Each group should have a maximum of four students. Each group will have a hula hoop in front of them filled with the object of your choice. The goal of the game is to snatch objects from other teams' hula hoops and place them into your team's hula hoop so that your team's hula hoop always remains full. For teachers who do not want to emphasize winning and losing, End the game when all students have balls in their hula hoop. Oh, oh man! Hey, look, this one has a purpose! <laughs> Woo! Clear expectations! <laughs> wow! I'm so engaged! Having fun! I'm getting tired, guys, while I'm running. I love how my teammates are cheering me on. Oh, yeah! Good job, Brynn! What's up, Thanks, team? <laughs> okay, gather oh. and let's talk about what we just did. Wow, that was exhilarating. Let's try another game. It's just as much fun, but a little less physically taxing. It's called Ping Pong Throwdown. Follow me and we'll get started. Kids, you know what to do. Bring it on in for those expectations. The materials needed for ping pong throwdown are ping pong balls and a bucket. The object of the game is for all students to work together to bounce all ping pong balls in the bucket. As the students are working together, the teacher is timing them with a stopwatch. Students can play multiple rounds to try and improve their times. Try and get it in. Okay, guys, your time starts. Now! Woo! Oh, nice job, Carrie! Yeah, good job! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, no! Okay, let's go! Bring it in! Let's see Alright, guys. Bring it in. Let's see Bree. How did it feel? Well, that was fun. Let's find out what the kids have to say. They never lie. Besides, research never lies. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so now that we're meeting together, I just want to introduce myself. I'm a researcher from the U of O, and I've been studying these types of cooperative games for PE purposes. Okay. First of all, how do you feel like the objectives were for this lesson that you just did, these two activities? Miss Kelsey is just really great at explaining directions. You know what? I really, really like how she brings us into a group. And then she starts talking about all of her expectations, and she even brings in like some things I already know. Like she started talking about basketball because I play basketball, and how ping pong, putting it in the bucket is kind of like basketball. So she's even bringing in some of my um, 
Some of your back, background knowledge. Background knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, it's really great. Well, I noticed during these two games, all these students were really involved and participated. Do you think that had anything to do with the games we chose? Well, I really enjoyed them. And, you know, I could tell that we were all, like, running around and playing together. And it just makes for a good time. And we were all doing things, like, the whole time. Right. And, yeah, it was... It was a good time. Right. So I no, love Pete. Nobody was up against the wall, ever. Everybody was just really involved. No, 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 no. That happens, like, during dodgeball and stuff. That's not as fun. Right. No one brother. So I noticed you have some history of being bullied during go dodgeball. So I was wondering, with these two games that we did, how did you feel? Do you feel safe and welcome? Or tell me about that. You just brought up a really tough subject. I mean, there's this one girl who just always bullies me, bullies me during dodgeball, but... You know, we really moved past that with these collaborative games, and we were playing this ping pong ball game, and there's absolutely no physical, um, physicalness at all. And also during the uh, hula hoop game, I just felt so safe. Did you feel like you could participate more because of that? Of course. Great, thank you. So I noticed you were really involved in these activities. Did it have to do with you having your own role? Yeah, I knew exactly what to do every step of the way. It was amazing. Do you think it helped that you got to choose how active you got to be in it? Yeah, I love to run so much. And so it was so fun just being able to run all the time. Great, thank you. for. How do you feel about playing games where there's no winners or losers? Well, you know, like at first it was kind of weird because I'm not used to that. But, you know, like Miss Kelsey just kind of has to play different games. So it's like everybody's a winner and it's so much better because, you know, I, I used to be a loser in those games, so now it's like everybody's playing and it's so much fun. It's way better. So Carrie, if the point of these games is not winning and losing, then what's the point of these games? We're like all working together and we're all like figuring out what to do together and like a common like goal or something. It's so cool. Oh wow. So yeah. the whole time you're playing you're thinking about what you can do to help your classmates. Yeah, like the ping pong Tell game, I just that. kept getting all the ping pong balls in the bucket and we did it all together. Wow, that's really, really great fun. that you're sharing that. Thank you. Yeah. After meeting with a bunch of students today and doing some research of my own, I do agree that in fact the games that we saw demonstrated today are great examples of collaborative, cooperative games. Let's go over the components one more time. Remember, when you're teaching your PE, Go over all these components and make sure you're including Objectives are clear and build background knowledge. Clear behavior expectations are included. Students feel safe and comfortable participating. All students are engaged and participating at all times. Every student has a role. All students work towards common goals. Winning and losing is not the focus. If you feel like these are things that you are not sure you're including, come look over the mechanics.